Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing an old school what's in my bag video. I haven't done one of these in quite a while and I'm going to be showing you what's in my Chanel Classic Flap medium size beige clear caviar with the gold hardware. This is a bag that I recently unboxed on my channel a few weeks back and I have had a few opportunities to wear her out and so far I'm really, really enjoying her. So let's get right into it. I'm gonna open her up. And she is full of items that I would normally carry, probably more than what I would carry on a regular basis, but I wanted to show you also how much can fit. So I am recording with my phone, but normally I would put my phone in this pocket here. So this is just my case, just to give you an idea. It's an iPhone plus size case. And then inside is all my goodies. So here, you guys have probably seen this many times on my channel. These are my go-to sunglasses, my faves. These are the uh, Louis Vuitton Charlotte sunglasses that fold really, really flat. So I love them for packing purposes and I just think they frame my face quite nicely as well, but you can see they fold really slim. So that goes in very nicely. And then let's see what else is in here. Okay, so this Chanel card holder in the patent leather, so black. Love this one. I unboxed this also recently here, and it's from Fashion File in excellent condition, but it looked pretty much brand new to me. And I've been testing out the patent leather, and so far I love it. I love the feel of it. I like the shine and the shimmer. I do enjoy the so black kind of edgy look to this piece, although I was a little timid about keeping the handbag version. Um, I did get that mini reissue in So Black patent and I returned it very quickly because just just wasn't for me for a variety of reasons. But this one here, this little one, I'm enjoying. So it fits quite a few cards. I've got my license and my Metro card and my zip card, membership card, and a Bloomingdale's gift card. So that's four up front. It's actually very pliable. I've got my debit card here, two credit cards back here, and then cash in the middle. So yeah, it's working out quite nicely. So there's the second item. And then let's get in. Okay, so this is my trusty Louis Vuitton key pouch, which I pretty much take with me everywhere in the Damier et Bin, and it just has my keys at the moment, but sometimes I do slip some cards and cash in there if I want it to just travel light and have only that with my phone. And then here is my mini pochette. So I'll show you what's inside my mini pochette, again with the Damier et Bin. And this is it, it's empty. There's nothing else in here, nothing in this pocket here. Yeah, I hardly ever put anything in these pockets, but I will also show you if I wanted to travel a little lighter, because I don't like to carry this much, it gets a little heavy, what I do is if I'm not with my kids especially, I may not need all of these items. So for example, this is just a travel or a hand wipe from one of our flights recently from United. Clearly you can see, so I'm just using this. Uh, my Burt's Bees lip balm. My Dior lipstick, which is my go-to these days. I think this is the, let's see, yeah, I'm pretty much down to the bottom. This is the, what color is this? Rosewood, I think. Yep, Rosewood 012 is the color code. Really like this, it's very moisturizing, and I like the, I like the packaging as well. Okay, so then my, again, my trusty L'Occitane hand cream, which I have with me pretty much all year round. This is the Honey Harvest scent, love it. I have so many of these. And a Band-Aid, again, if I'm with my kids, you never know. My son has quite a few um, allergies, so this is just some allergy meds. And a peppermint. This is a sample size, or travel size, I should say, of the Baccarat Rouge 540 perfume, and it is so good, you guys. It's so delicious. I have been curious about this fragrance for months, and I finally decided to take the leap, and I got the travel set with the three little uh, bottles like this, so it's easy to take with me. The only thing is I wish there was a cap because it just comes like this in a set of three in a little cute box. This smells so good and I am so, 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 so picky about 
fragrances and you know that I have one signature scent from Hermes and I don't really wear a lot of other perfumes because they kind of make me feel gross after a while. This one, however, is delicious. My husband likes it as well, so highly recommend you check it out. It's a little pricey. This set of three was $180. Um, the actual full size bottle, I think, is 230 or 250, something like that. So, if you know you like the smell, you might want to commit to the bottle, but I prefer the smaller size so I can take it with me. Okay, um, and then I always have a pen if I can, but I don't want to put the pen in the bag directly in case the ink spills and it gets all over the bag. So, I wouldn't want it to get inside my dummy a bin beautiful red interior either but this pen has been so far okay this is our favorite hotel yes we we steal pens from hotels okay i'm sure many of you do the same thing so i've just made a confession but this pen is from the fairmont in bermuda it is one of our favorite places to go we go usually every year except the last year it has been obviously difficult with all that was going on and still is going on so anyway and then here's just a hair tie because you never know. I just might want to pull my hair up into a ponytail. So there you have it, empty. Such a handy dandy mini pochette. I don't think I need to go into this. Many people are familiar with the mini pochette already. So this is what I, let me just show you. I'm gonna, th this is what it looks like at the moment and then including my phone. But normally if I'm traveling light, which is what I prefer to do, very minimal, I would basically do my keys, which I need. I would do my card keys. And then it looks like that so far. That's it. And then I would, if, I, if it's sunny, I would want to bring my sunglasses, of course. So that's it so far. And then I would just bring one lip product. So I wouldn't necessarily need the Burt's Bees on top of it. So I just take that. And then what I would really want to bring is my lotion, but I have this little felt pouch that I would put my lotion in. Let me go grab it. So this just came with one of my Zumoni organizers, and I would just, it doesn't have to be from Zumoni. It can be any little felt pouch like this. This way the corners here, they're quite sharp. This way the corners will not cut into the leather on the inside and ruin your bag. So I would do it like that. See? And then I have my phone. And honestly, this is how I would typically go out. If I'm not going far and if I'm not needing all the other stuff, and there's plenty of space to put more things in, but this is this is how I would normally pack it. And yeah, there you have it. So all of this would go back into the mini pochette and I wouldn't necessarily take it with me. But I wanted to show you that if you did want to bring your mini pochette or some kind of pouch of this size with more of your little knickknacks that you might need, then you can absolutely fit it in. This is the medium size. It is, it's not that roomy considering it's, you know, a good size because of the double flap feature. So there is some restriction, but I have been using mini bags recently, especially the mini rectangle, the mini square, my walks. And uh, compared to those, this feels definitely a lot more spacious. So I guess it's all relative. So yeah, there you have it. That was my what's in my bag video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you have any questions down below. I will try my best to answer them. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye-bye.